Let's take a look, <clears throat> a deeper look of time and the aspects of time. Because time is a deep problem in our human way. We cannot live without time. See, time is movement, mind, action, experience, everything. We can measure this movement and call it time, you see. So when if time ends, movement ends, we end. Everything is moving, coming and going. Time is just a name given for measuring specific things so that I don't know why it's here. I mean, it serves no purpose, really. Because at the end of the day, the sun is still going to set in the dark hours and rise in the early hours. Time is natural, you see. Time is a name of existence, movement. Every name is the same, as you consistently hear this one say, everything is the same. So what is the problem with time, you see? Well, time has now created an idea that the body will pass in time. And that you, because you are held within this body, or you assume that, that you will also pass with this body in time. But anyone who dismisses time and says it's useless and pointless is a fool. Because time is the greatest healer. I think you've heard this expression. What does that mean, you see? Time is the greatest healer. In time, you will experience healing. What does that mean? You see? Everything that is spoken here, you're going to use a time measurement to understand what is going on. When you hear the words, in time, you will experience healing, you assume that it means somewhere down the line, somewhere down the timeline. Let's look at, at time as a separate entity. You see, because you are completely separate from this whole existence. You are witnessing from beyond this whole existence as something far more deeper, far more beyond, and far more really unworthy of discussion because we don't know who we really are. We have an idea of what we are. And we have an idea of who we are. Not this body, you see. This is a time body. I'm speaking to the real you. But you don't fully know what you are and where we are. That's a great secret. But you know that you're always here beyond time, which means before time, before movement and before existence and before anything that comes and goes, you exist. But let's look for now at this statement. In time, you will experience healing. Or, for those who don't believe that they will be healed and they need healing, in time we will experience death. Yeah? That's a very good one. That's a really straightforward one. In time, we will experience death. So let's take time and put it in this pot. That's time, you see. Right? In time, in this pot, this pot is called time. 
in time we will experience death. Your mind measures that and says, in time, so somewhere down the line, the timeline, you will experience death. Yeah. Let's take it out of the mind and put it in the pot. In time, in that time, in that time there, you will experience death. Within time, you see. Within time. Right? Same wording. In time. Different way of looking. The whole aspect of learning about enlightenment, or becoming enlightened and awakened, is you learn that you have only taken words that have been handed down with the description of these words, the understanding of these words, that they are now ingrained within your mind body. So we're looking at it in the same same sentence, same wording. In time, but we are taking time out of ourselves for one moment. In time, in this part of time, you will experience death. So the one who's witnessing this pot is exempt from this death. But the one who is believing its mind is going to absolutely um, die. So which one do you want to be? There's no escape, you see. You're both. Because you will experience death. But you will not become dead. Death will go within the pot. When it goes, the pot will go. Human time and death will all be lid put on, put away and out. You still experience it. You've experienced death. You've experienced death coming and you've experienced death going. And time coming and going. And mind coming and going. And you say, well, <laughs> you'd be as well being in the pot. Fine, go in the pot. Live out this life as it is, as you assume it to be, and you will have a short existence. But when the body passes, and you're sitting watching your body pass, and time goes and mind goes, and you're still there as something. You won't be able to come back and say, oh, that one said that, you know. Because you've no time now, no mind to understand. And you really don't care. You're just in absolute bliss because you're not gone. It's all been a hoax. That's what you're going to say. Not with your mind. Not in time. Not in movement. But the essence that you are, that you are never not, this essence is infinite, always here-ness. Presence, awareness, aliveness, isness, nothingness. Every single word that you know goes into the time pot. But the essence of the worlds, the essence of time, essence of mind, essence of you, essence of world, essence of universe, stays. No words to describe it. But the whole encompassing thing remains as you. So what is left? What, are you, what are you, is your true essence? Mind loves this one because mind says you don't want that. You'd rather have your body dying. You'd rather die with your body. The whole essence is you are simply a scent, a waft. A waft of un touchable, unmoving, untarnished, undeniable, unlimited, unlimitless love. And this love is whole-encompassing allness. So even in this space that surrounds your body, it's only a reflection of 
the ones that you believe have passed and went to heaven. Heaven is this far away, you see, from the finger and the space, this vast space, from the finger and this vast space, there's a little space, a subtle space within that no thing can see. We call it consciousness. And your loved one is right there. And you are right there. And everything is right there, popping out as space and as fingers and as form. There's no time in this space. Time comes from this space. It's born from this space. Finger is born from this space. Body is born from this space. Space that we know it, mind knows it, is born from this true space. Many become awakened through, well, all become awakened through time. You see? All become awakened through time. Your mind will say, well, it's going to happen to me one day. You're awakened now. When you see yourself as yourself, not this body, you see, can't use time elements to explain and describe truth. When you see yourself as limitless, always here, never ending, but no No idea, no concept of what you are. It's irrelevant, you see. You know you are always here. And then you have the pot and you see yourself awakening right now in time, in time, in this beautiful pot of life time. Muji says in one video I remember from years ago, everything that you perceive is in a screen, a three-dimensional screen, including your body. Are you in the screen or are you out of the screen? If you're out of the screen, something must connect you to being in the screen because it feels like you're in this screen. And when the screen goes, the disconnection goes, and you are still out of this screen. No more world. No more time. But time still goes on in this beautiful pot that you can witness. The only difference is without no connection. You cannot participate, but something remains witnessing what is going on. Actor gone. Screen gone. Props gone. Audience still there. Namaste.